the leaf hopper. When it jumps, especially the very small nymph, it takes off at 100 times the acceleration of gravity. Here's 10 Gs on a person. If a leaf hopper were the size of a person, it would be like us jumping, accelerating from zero to 200 in a matter of seconds and landing a quarter mile or more, way more airtime than Morpheus got. Here's the problem. His little leaf hopper brain says jump. Now if that signal reaches one leg faster than the other and he takes off at 100 Gs, he's gonna spiral sideways. End of leaf hopper. Took many years for scientists to figure this out, but here's what they found deep inside the leaf hopper. Two perfectly designed intermission gears that are connected to the leg muscles. So if one of those legs moves faster than the other, those gears force both legs to move in perfect sequence. Ask yourself, how in the world could some mutational change one unguided little random change at a time to some insect that didn't have those gears have turned something into those two perfectly intermeshing gears.